Sorry for those who were trying to distract me. Group is kind of guy to say we're all breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, so. We'll see you later, Jacob. Have a great day. Um, but yeah, for anyone who missed it yesterday, we um, kind of had a big lore dump in the morning with Barrett. There was a ninja cutting onion somewhere. It was emotional. Um, we made it into the Gungaga area, which is Zach's hometown. Homes, yep, hometown. Uh, and our next story beat is we're actually heading for Cosmo Canyon. Next, uh, we're meeting up with a uh, a pilot who we definitely don't know. We, we have no idea who they could possibly be. And I definitely won't be fangirling left, right, and center. Um, but yeah, we have some side content to do first, so we're gonna vibe and do that. Us? Gungaga. <laughs> uh, so let me just triple check actually here what affection sent. Two side missions. Barrett's weapon? Yes. Okay, so I did half of that already. Teach me. Oh, I remember that one. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I did do some us blurring, as you can see. Screw this tower right here. I have no idea how to get onto it. I think I, like, passed my controller to Mike and was like, you do it. And then I didn't watch him, so I have no idea how he did it. Um, I want to do this before we head out and um the one in corral as well i think we can start that now so let's actually let's let's hand in the barrett one first i did part of that by accident off stream <laughs> I'm gonna circle for a few hours each day for mine and it's use benefit. She'll listen to you. <laughs> oh, oh god, sorry, Tifa, sorry. Oh, I just I, I tend to flick my camera down and it just there's legs. And I'm not saying they were bad legs, but I, I, I wanna be respectful. Um but yeah, if you guys remember this side quest yesterday, we came in, this guy's trying to make like the ultimate weapon. He saw Barrett's arm, he was fascinated, and he's like, hey, get me these materials and i will uh make you something which you know cool awesome um the funny part is you're meant to follow these like pictures to get to the point i was wandering around and i accidentally stumbled across the right area so i picked up the materials and now we're back she knows not to trust me <laughs> i do know your intentions barrett I know you're excited, buddy, but you gotta let me talk to the nice man. Oh! Did you find everything? Uh... There you go. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. Okay. Off topic, kind of. <laughs> this guy reminds me so much of Dan's gaming, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Hmm. Um, yeah, affection. I'd like to do that as well. Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! My gift to you. I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. Haha! <laughs> Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Huh. Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. 
The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. There we go. I like that one. That one's cute. Rebecca, welcome on in. Um, it's, I'm not really sure how far we're going to get up to today. I'm really not as familiar with, like, I know vaguely where things happen, but I have no idea how long everything takes, so... I was wrong yesterday, the English subs are the same. Okay, no matter the accompanying voice acting. Okay. But the fan was part of the weapon. Uh, around the party thing. And we know why it's worded like that. Share? I reckon we could possibly meet a certain someone towards the end of stream, depending on how long it'll take to do proto relic stuff and a few side quests. Possibly fill up the map a bit more so it's less work off stream. Very true, yeah. I'm down for some of that. Uh... Barrett doesn't know how to deal with being given things. That's so cute. He's adorable. Did I miss the wh No, no, we haven't talked about the whispers yet. Nope. We were talking about um, printing maps with map quests. <laughs> and, and being old. So the party selection lock thing. You can have several set parties. Oh, and it's just saying you can't swap to another... Change between members quicker, and that is what is disabled when it says that. But you can still change individual members. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That's interesting. Um, Alright, so let's head back to Gungaga proper here. We also print out cheat codes for GTA and stuff back in the day. No, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think my mom would have let me use the printer for something like that. So I wrote it down by hand. <laughs> if you mention my arthritis again. <laughs> I just, and of course, there's always early onset arthritis, arthritis, stuff like that. I didn't mean, like, you know, anything else by it, but I, I thought it was funny. Uh, okay. A party preset. You made that has someone who's unavailable, yeah. Yeah, so the whispers, let's talk. Okay, <laughs> I want to make sure. Okay, so this is... No. 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 We are... No. If you... Okay. If you haven't seen this chicken side quest and you're at all interested, there's a hundred percent videos of it on YouTube. I am not doing it again. <laughs> nope. I, I refuse to be involved. Yeah, if you know, you know. All right, I'm looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior, to help me reach my full potential, no matter the suffering, no matter the sacrifice, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. This one, however, we will do. Order around of herded breed. Also, sorry, I just realized as well... This is the GYC I probably have enough for... Chadley you may stuff. Now Kujata, the phantasmagorical beast of Gungaga legend, in the simulator. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity, so that I might complete its materia. Is Twitch being weird with emotes today? What's it up to? Oh, weird. I just- I didn't realize that was Quake? Why would they call it Petrify? How weird. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Seemingly, Sephiroth tricked us to defeating the Whispers in Remake, yeah, so he could absorb them, which is shown in the cutscene in Remake, and have them be a part of them. Yet yeah, the black ones are like Genova Whispers now, and then you have the opposing 
uh, White Whispers. Yeah, it, they're very interesting. They're very, very interesting. I know not everyone was happy with them in Remake. I like them. I think they're kind of neat. Okay, apparently Cloud is still learning that weapon. Um... There we go, yeah. So I can try to get these two to synergize more often. <laughs> they'll show emotes sometimes, and other times they'll show text or in chat and on screen chat. Oh, weird. What, who is Genova? Genova is... So initially it was like this calamity that fell from the skies and caused havoc on the planet. That's kind of what we know at the moment. Um, it's also the name... Sephiroth said his mother had. Uh, Mom-ish is kind of the right description. Yeah, she's she's a creepy alien. In the original, she had an eyeball booby. These days, she doesn't, which is a bit sad. Don't forget to try some of our homegrown. It's springtime, boys, and I say we spin it in the saloon. This is your friendly reminder from the Utah. I want to do more piano chat. I want more songs. I want them to add more. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's all about you need to know, really. Uh, where am I going here? Oh, okay, just outside? Uh, where the heck am I going? here i need your help to become a true warrior please guide me to greatness i'm so tetsu by the way with the gyc captain's been singing your praises you know telling everyone how you turn some state-of-the-art shinra weaponry into scrap metal oh so you heard about all that well i don't want to brag or anything but we crushed him really you have to teach me how you did that Gotta make Zack proud, you know? He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. Haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. Mm hmm. It's a little sad. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days. And I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the Coalition called me a hero and the Captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Huh? Wait. Me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please! Train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course. I'll do anything. Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple. Meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> Goofy's absolutely loving this. <laughs> Actual dialogue from when I asked Crystal to teach me about Final Fantasy VII. Honestly, yeah. Anytime someone's like, hey, I want to get into it, I'm like, let me teach you. Join me, thrive. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Very well. Then with that, 
Let our training begin. Making your iced coffee. Enjoy. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. I had some bubble tea this morning. It was tasty. It's on you. Give me your way, master. Gotcha. Here I go. You need to chill. You know what? After this fight, I'm gonna look into the volume again. Wait, I'm focusing on the wrong enemy. This calls for more Yuffie! Come on, for reasons. Come on, no time to waste. Oh, there we go. Mr. Wonderful, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, um... I think that might help a little bit. I think it's like, especially I use Yuffie a lot, right? Um, but she tends to do a lot of screeching in battle, which, you know, fair. I can't judge. Um, and that might be pretty loud. 50% overall, but it's balanced like at least. Goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. I'm just looking over it like... So I have like my volume sliders on OBS and when in battle I can see the Elgato, which is the capture card software, it just spiking up and it's like Don't do that. Now strike swift and true. Uh uh a lot of ice that we're not really liking. Oh, this is double right. Oh. Whoops. <sighs> we'll get them next time. Oh, did we get a retry? Oh, cool. I don't think I was paying attention my first playthrough, and I just kind of ran through these like now, first try. Swift and true. Show me how it's done. Don't Let overdo it. Up. I got this. Oh, Let's do. Chill. <laughs> okay. It's on you. I'm your one stop slobbering shop. It's a little annoying. Watch yourself. Let's do this. My con, have you had a good day at work? <laughs> Pressure. Oh, right. While well, they're waiting to ambush. Yep. Never mind. I'm gonna have to try this one. Again. Deal with that. You're in good hands now. Uh. The town. Yep. <laughs> one more time. Let me try again. It's kid, it, it's not even you, sir. It's literally me. Now, strike swift and true. Show me how it's done. Okay, Here we so, go. When you go into ambush mode. Yeah. Ah. In right now. Brace yourself. Now. There we go. There's the pressure. Although, does it want me to pressure? Oh, that's weird. It didn't count. Oh, I didn't like that. It. Okay. Um. Uh, try again. Yeah. Gotcha. There we go. Okay. 
And then stagger should just be as simple as using Blizzard. Although Freeze. I'm gonna Oh no, that worked. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna knock it out, but I guess it staggered and then knocked it out. We good, we good. Okay, let's keep up the pace. I like this like light jog we're doing through this the forest. Your first step on the long and winding road to ninja hood. <laughs> you cross paths with the wrong Stagger, ninja. defeat all enemies in the time limit. Guarding or counterattacking? Okay. I'll make you proud. Uh, oh. uh, are guarding. Sorry, it's on now. It's one pressure. Okay. Oh wait, no stagger. Let's try uh, abilities then. Know it now. There's one Take pressure. Over. I'm your one stop. How about you show All us what set. you got? Gotcha. Uh, there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm having some trouble. I, I I used to be. Or I guess the earlier enemies. I I do better with staggering and pressuring. The later ones, it becomes a little bit more tricky. I feel like. There's no go for it. <laughs> it's on you. So I got you. Sure. You're mine. Uh, okay, I think we're no good actually. We got the stagger, so. <laughs> Perfect. I've been finishing their studies these weeks. So I keep seeing posts on LinkedIn about it. Just saw someone who clearly had a photo with at least one more person right next to her. Probably a group photo of her and her thesis partner. But she cut them out of it. So awkward. Oh, yeah. I just just get another picture, you know, of just you by yourself if that's what you want. Great teamwork. Right, I forgot about this area. We... we made it? <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right, I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Uh, her body. Uh, and mind. He looks so tired. <laughs> start. Uh, by training. Uh, you're behind. Uh, Gotta get that booty. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got Get it. the good booty. <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? Get back. Gotta win it. 
right, deal with that. Out here. Um, but yeah, no, that I, I know Rebecca, you're trying to get out there too. That dialogue was very specifically chosen. The words "living" and "legacy" very specifically chosen. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why Holy can fire. I not cast that? Bingo. Too easy. You're going down. This is why I wanted you to do it. Yeah, I forgot about the like secret gym bit at the end. I remember him mentioning Zach. You need a breather. But... If you insist, you're gonna feel this one. How you like this? Behold the best kept ninja secret. <laughs> <laughs> He's learned how to wipe his paws on a wet wipe after going to the toilet. Like you offer him the wipe and he wipes his feet. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. I've seen uh I've seen videos of uh doggos. Uh I don't know what the word is for it, but they have like bigger like their mouth they're very drooly. How about that? Drooly poppers. Um, and after they drink water, they tend to just like slobber water everywhere. Um, but I've seen really cute videos of dogs who learn how to wipe their mouths after drinking. Your dogs? Is that your dogs? <laughs> I know it's usually the bigger puppers. Uh... And they don't know how to wipe their mouths well. <laughs> I mean, they're cute. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member, so it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. No money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield. 
and under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud, Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. I'll consider it after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two! Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! There we go. But yeah, I sent a link. That wasn't the initial video I was thinking of, but like, you know, close enough. Um, can I rest? It's this nice. Because I am dying. <laughs> Notice the howling stop. Right. A balanced oh. polio is key, like a diet. I don't think I knew this building existed. I'm leaving now. Where am I? Oh, okay, here we go. You didn't quite get the memo. <laughs> hey, you Macas, how are this you? Is the GYC reminding you to stay away from monsters. Oh, um... Affection, there's a... I remember this thing, the Cisne here. She's burning down the kitchen. Is that not something I should do? I think that might be an heiress thing, right? At least I remember Aerith featuring pretty heavily. Yeah, alright, we'll avoid it. That is fair. Yeah, I was thinking uh, if I can come back after the date, like after we already have Tifa, then I will. Because we love Cisne, we want to see more of her. Okay, um, so that was the quest I should do here. Let me go ahead and save. Um, we have... Which one do you want to do first, chat? We have the proto-relic for Gungaga, and we have the proto-relic for Corel. I know we can't finish the Corel one right now. We're not doing the chicken. I refuse. <laughs> I'm drawing my line right there. Gaga, How you doing, Ace? We're not- nope, nope. Go watch on YouTube. I refuse. <laughs> you can for sure do anything fancy after the date. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I think I fancy, I should say. Might as well do Corral. Alright. Challenge good. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to- Travel back. No, trust me when I say chat. I'm saving you all for the chicken quest. You'll thank me. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> you should do the chicken quest. Do it for Tiffa. She'll really appreciate it if you do that quest. I forgot. I forgot how Brian says Tifa. Who the heck is Tifa? Alright, so we kind of ran through Corel yesterday. Um, you didn't really miss all that much, it's just me running around getting towers. I did get the crown for Johnny though. And I did it all on my own, I'm really proud. I didn't have to ask Mike because he's not here. <laughs> 
Yeah, the gameplay for the chicken quest is very annoying. I don't think I've ever heard you make that noise before. I'm feeling a little, a little out of it today. We're, we're all over the place. In a good way. But yeah, you can see I've done uh, almost everything. You can see I was giving this a really, really wide berth because I didn't know where it would trigger. Uh, we have to do a uh, Queen's Blood here thing, too. Crystal's drunk. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Uh, I think I'll save the Johnny thing for after. For some reason, it's saying I need to hand this in here. But I know that it's up here, so. Water here is leaking, and the guy said it might start sprinkling water all over the basement. Really? Oh my god. Are you, how long until you get someone in to see, see to it and fix it? That does not sound like a good time. Did you do all the objectives for that fight? Uh, I think I did. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Well, there isn't actually any objectives, weirdly enough. At least not listed there. But I got the crown. It's in pristine condition. At least I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure. Uh, oh. This is a very important part of my inventory, by the way. <laughs> I don't know where it would be. Oh, there it is. Pristine crown. Yeah, I should be all good then. That's what I thought. I guess the remake render. Listen, okay. If I could have one IRL, I would. Thursday's Tiggy's bad day. Ultrasound day. Oh, I really hope it goes well. Poor little guy. You probably could get one IRL. I could. Not that I've looked or anything, but, you know, I, I imagine it's probably possible. <laughs> no. Um, I think I'd spook myself with it, to be honest with you. Alright, so, I was purposely avoiding this area. This is going to be the proto-relic for the Corral this region. This must be the sandstorm. The Sephiroth remake render on her stream. <laughs> I think that would spook me too. <laughs> the Shrek cut out. <laughs> Drawn was I to the warrior's presence. And lo, whither should it lead me but these sweltering sands? What is this thing? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine! You think the proto-relic is yours? Proto-what now? Relic, you say? Ha! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure! What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal! The get. Uh oh. Oh. This form! I can hold it no longer! Oh! Oh! Oh no, down I go! Down I go! <laughs> I don't know what we just saw, but it was there, so... So, what was that? Oh, thank goodness I finally got through! Are you alright? 
I'm fine. Long John Johnson. What the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. Yep. That was an entire- Oh! Hi! That was an entire thing. Uh, an itsu? I clicked on it and I shouldn't have clicked on it. I try to avoid the Squeenix stores because the temptation is too real. Same with the Pokemon ones actually. And anything to do with like Persona. Like anything I like I don't try to look at their stores. <laughs> Alright here you go sweetheart. Pokemon Center EU store. I mean, I'm kind of glad I also have been locked because from what I've heard from Rosie, their site is really weird. Or sites. I've heard that, like, if you just click slightly too fast, it, like, locks you out and accuses you of being a bot. And it's like, I... <sighs> no. 100% Pokemon Store IRL. It's like a trial. I watched a video by Jaden Animations. Um... Pretty recently. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered, though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. Yeah, um, I watched a video with Jade Animations, and I know myself and a couple other like youtubers were invited over to japan for like the pokemon what was it the pokemon world tournament or something the one rebecca went to <laughs> i think it was and um uh, yeah they they went around and and were taken to all these different like you know shopping areas full of like pokemon and just like general anime and video game stuff um i wouldn't have gotten out of there I would just be like, no, I just live here now, thank you. I'm good, I'm happy. Mysterious flower blocks the inside. It's some sort of monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Whoa. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar-shaped statue anywhere nearby? Uh... Oh! That's it! That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we must prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. Vending <sighs> machine on the side of the road with cute things, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Just like a random convenience store. It's like I'm kind of... I'd love to go, but also I wouldn't for that reason. I would not be able to control myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was just the event store. Grabs a statue, then makes Cloud carry. <laughs> Alright, so you need to hold it aloft and then follow the light it emits. Um, this really pissed me off in my first playthrough because I found the places 
first by accident. And then I had to re-navigate to them, which was kind of annoying. You have Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah. Yeah. I've never played that game, but I, uh, I enjoyed watching streams of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going the right way. Yeah, give or take. I haven't played it in forever, but it makes me sad. Yeah, I won't. It's an older game, of course, but I, I still won't say too much, but there was something in it that I was just like, nope, never playing. I will watch, but I cannot be responsible for what happens. Everything would need to fit in my existing new suit. Okay, listen. I made it up this yesterday. I remember doing it. <laughs> up. That's not how you wheel. Oh dear lord. Oh dear lord. Okay, okay. Alright, this is- oh, oh. oh wow, this is- Everyone out! <laughs> I didn't think they would fall! <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I'm just gonna go this way. I thought they would at least get out the correct side. Oh, well, that worked. All right, you guys ready for peak comedy? Be driving Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> Just me driving in general. Get ready. Uh, uh, Pushing it. Yeah, you all. So the song though, one of my favorites. Thank you for the clips. It was in remake. Uh, I think it was played in the Carneo Coliseum. Sorry, I'm listening. I'm trying to remember. I think it was the Carneo Coliseum, one of the songs. Is it good? Okay, awesome. There it goes. <coughs> yeah, I always really like that song. It's just very. Bouncy. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, red. Oh, man, that was hilarious. Hey. Do you think there are any more of these amazing rocks out there? Your pliability is most impressive. Whatever. Let's go. So... Um... You know what? We'll talk about it later. Talk about it later. 
let's go back. Oh, I can't just fast travel. All right, fair. But yeah, this song that's playing is the one we're going to be playing on the piano, give or take, in uh, Cosmo Canyon, and it is very difficult. <laughs> Where it's like, damn, boy's flexible. For the Nintendo Direct tomorrow, is same here. I didn't even know about it until I started stream. Chat had to tell me. The proto relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? Whoa! No need for all that. Name's G, Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. Welcome back, Paul. <laughs> it's going good. If you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? Protect! Treasure! Ready! And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? All right, test your might in an army of spiny speedsters in this race against the clock. Be as many cactuars as possible within the time limit. Each cactuar defeat will add to your score. Reach the target score before time runs to win. Or runs out. Uh, cactuars come in all shapes, sizes, and point values with some, even boasting special properties. For example, gladiators are more susceptible to standard physical attacks, while magitors are vulnerable to magic, like Yuffie's ninjutsu. The fact that Kidji's music is named after crushing Corneo's balls is wild. It's... it's a lot. <laughs> Rapper the Rapper and Dobby had a baby. <laughs> I could see it. I could see it. Alone, so, I generally had a much better time doing this with Yuffie. They're gonna have you do it with other characters, or at least one other, after, and I wasn't really as big of a fan of that. Oh, there's a rainbow one. Get the rainbow one. Or, or don't. That's cool too. Big groups of them at once. <laughs> 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 
time to spare. <laughs> So, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, shrimp! Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. This is such a weird section. <laughs> Unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. An ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the proto relic, or rather, the treasure of the sands. Head for modular reactor two. Say. How many of these mini-reactors are there, anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shinra could produce anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and cactuar nectar. There we go. So there is the first one. Um, we're not gonna be able to do all of these. There's the final one. From what I remember, it asks you to come back way later. But we can do the next one at least. Uh... Technically, this is probably the closest. Also, we're gonna pretend that I totally did all the combat assignments for that one that we just were close to. Just don't worry about it. The creature kept swallowing me. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Oh, YouTube video where they got full... Full version. It's called Desert Rush Theme Break a Box. Oh, was it the same song in the the box breaking minigame then? All right then. Let's start looking for those craggy cactuars. All right, next stop. Going that way. Uh heck if I remember where this is. Kiji's going to call you at an awkward story moment. Because you started this quest. Yeah, that's, it happened in my uh, my original playthrough the exact same way. And I was just like, oh, this is 
weird. But it did give me an out to like, you know, go back and continue working on stuff. I was sorry, I was so focused. I was beating up lots of cactors. Oh, there's a stop back here, and I think we need to go up. Oh dear lord, okay. <laughs> You know what, Affection? I can see that too. I just see type L-U-L. Uh, -L. Didn't actually show the, the emote there. Go. Okay. Um, so we know it's higher up here. I might fast travel and see if I can get a better angle on it from up here. Forever twitching. Like up, up? Uh, potentially, okay. Oh, they changed the names for that? <laughs> that would definitely be an issue. Okay. Uh... Oh. Is that actually one of the... That just seems wrong. Next one. All of them have that before them, even the pride ones. That just seems like an issue. Like it doesn't seem like it was intentional. Surely. Keep it together. Watch yourself. Deal with. That. I should have, I should have scanned the ones in that area from before. Hey, Bri, it's been doing good. We've done some uh, of the more, let's say, important side content right now. It's been good. What are you waiting for? Go on, touch it. Ladies first. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. <laughs> Me! Word of advice? Don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. I love red. <laughs> <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. I 
I'm really, really looking forward to the next bit. Our next main story thing is uh, Cosmo Canyon. And Red gets a lot of story there, a lot of... He's just, he becomes more of a proper character there, I want to say. And I'm just, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Yeah, same here, Affection. There's some weird bits in it. There's some really good bits in it. Um, I don't really like the area very much, unfortunately. I think Red was done really well, at least. Red is best why I loved having him in my party in the original. Yeah, he's a cutie. Back to following the lessons of the Tomberries and the ways of karma. <laughs> sure took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? Hm. You know how this ends. <laughs> Do I ever? But to you? Holy crap! It's a big brand. Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? Ooh, me! No. Can no. I give it a go? I love you, Aerith, but girl, I don't I like this me. section with you. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. <sighs> I remember not liking this. Jenny has some choice words when we get there. They're ranting so much when I was there. Oh, really? I'm excited. Uh, Aerith's trial introduces two new species of cactus to conquer light twars and dark twars. I crave violence. <laughs> Press L2 to conjure an anti-light or luminous ward, and R2 to summon an anti-dark or dark ward. Basic attacks performed within these wards are more effective. I don't think I've seen this word before. I'm assuming it still means effective against the aforementioned cactuars. Um, note the cactuars of other finis may appear going forward, so keep your elemental wits about you as you fight. I ugh. just let me use UV. <laughs> I love Aerith the pieces, but I do not like this bit. Okay. L2 for light, R2 for dark. Got you. <laughs> Effective. Yeah, I say the. Oh god, I forgot how you fight with Aerith. Okay. Every little bit helps. This is going well. <laughs> You'll see. Ugh. So there's a dark group. Hey, you asked for it. Go, that's more like it. <laughs> throwing, like little bombs at me. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Hey, you asked for it. Am I using Aerith? I swear she just has magic that will just shoot out from afar, right? Am I losing it? Possibly. Okay. Freak. Oh, jeez. Every little bit helps. Mind backing off a bit. What the? 
Okay. I'd keep my distance if I were you. That's a weird choice, but. One more shot. Get him. Hey, you asked for it. Mind backing off a bit. Go. You know what? We're doing better than I thought we would be. So. Can't be too mad. Here it comes! I'd keep my distance if I were you. Specific one I'm thinking of, probably. Also, Matilda, bear with. I will hydrate after this. I need to stay hydrated today. It is getting warm in here. There we go. You asked for it. Don't come back. <laughs> No. You okay? <laughs> you who? Get ready. <laughs> I'd keep my distance if I were you. How did I not? Oh, I'm so close to keeping you two here. Here it comes. <laughs> Warm for you as well. Should probably check on that uh Amazon thing as well here while I'm thinking about it. Also, I'm hydrating. Wow, you sure showed me, and I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta da! We oh, Radiant now. Ward, <laughs> not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breeze through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus? For the time being. I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. Yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of this or the Johnny quest that makes you wait, but it's okay. They give you time later. It's just, I like to get stuff done as soon as it happens. But that's all we can do for now. Uh, let's go back to Johnny. Yeah, now Kid G's pretty cool. Kid G's pretty cool. Hello, hello, look what I got you. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? shine on that baby it is positively legendary and we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you don't worry the fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display man i can't wait to see the look on my face when i see this <laughs> i'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel be sure to swing by when you have the chance i'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you Uh, and if you didn't remember, Johnny was cloned by Yuffie, and he now just has a bajillion clones of himself wandering around. I know. <laughs> that must have been fun. Alright, anyway, welcome back the to Costa Del Sol. I'm going back on my scoot scoot. No one can stop me. Where are those lantern things? There we go. Very good. I am back. They wouldn't put all these tables and things out here if it wasn't for me to run over them. Tour, coast to Del Sol in style, with our wheelie. I think I just hit a child with a planter. I am, do they oh, I just ran over that guy's heel. Hey, how about an orb or two? Man keeps offering me his orbs. Gorgeous luster. This door's really hopping. I 
Will do, yeah. I think I did that in my other save as well. Can't renovate uh, on an empty stomach. Not okay. Which Johnny? <laughs> Show me the good news, bro. All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro! So yeah, me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Me and me's. <laughs> Welcome to Johnny Seaside in Remake! Wow! Oh, wait, wait. So, what do you think, bro? Wait, no, I need to go back in. I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You're absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J Squad either. Oh, don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You, you said it. We, we all, all want, want what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would, would be standing, standing here today if it weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> Well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry. You got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! <laughs> Johnny out! Johnny out. Johnny's! <laughs> you know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. That person just. Oh, it was Snaps taking you? a picture of Barrett's butt. Did y'all oh? see that? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be seven Johnnies in one. <laughs> I think one of you is more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry. We'll attract guests from far and wide with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, because when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh at the end. I, I did not complete this in my initial playthrough. So I would, I'd love to be able to do that this time. But yeah, um, Snaps has taken, like, paparazzi shots of Barrett. I just thought I'd point that out. It's you, you can definitely send me, uh, question of the day suggestions. And then I think this is something you'd get for completing it. Giant secret chest is tightly locked. What could be hidden inside? It's another Johnny. I don't actually know what's in there, so... Also, I'm just saying, I'm just, I we're, know you know, or whatever, but this is we're really I don't nice. think he's actually that tall, but we're looking respectfully. Um, oh, I can't remember where you can, you, some of them have, oh, is it, is there like a menu for it? The quest? L2, treasure trove. 
So nice hustle on the track club. With skills like that, you've definitely got what it takes to be make it in the racing world. Next stop, the gold cup. So it gives you like these little like quotes and lines from people. Like that's from Billy. Um, oh, this one. Complete jump frog, really gig whack in under Junon. So it'll like tell you if you need to do something. Uh, this is from Rufus Shinra. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's been asked before. Uh, I don't think it has, actually. I don't think it has. Uh, congratulations, your performance here is nothing short of immaculate befitting of such a momentous occasion. Today marks a new era for Shinra, and your patriotism will be the cornerstone upon which we'll build our better tomorrow. Preparation in progress. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. But yeah, there's like some cool little things what i was this noticing though good. i actually want to stay here now is this one where was i seeing it there were like i thought i saw one of yuffie's weapons up on the wall here oh yeah I don't think I noticed these before. Rupa's sending me love letters. <laughs> but yeah, we have 24 out of 88 uh, items. I, I definitely got nowhere close to finishing all these. Really I know some of them are things that you like dig up as well, so. That'll take us a while. Um, But yeah, that was the... Oh, where on earth am I? There we go. That was the, um... The Johnny quest. Sorry, I forget my, my things here. Uh, can I just fast travel back to Corel? There we go. Let's go do the, uh, the Queen's Blood thing. Y'all are gonna have to bear with me though. I'm After this, I'm gonna get up. People do a stretch break, maybe take an Advil or something. I have a bit of a headache coming on. I don't think the heat is helping me. Right. Look at this. Sound like the robe friends. So, you have begun to fulfill your potential. Long have I awaited this day. <laughs> At ease, young soldier. Yeah, I know he gets lore. I took your measure the moment you set foot in this town. Hard not to, given your presence. I am Navalan of the Thousand Eyes. Years of meditation have granted me sight beyond sight. It is this clarity which shows me all, even that which some wish to keep hidden. You exude a powerful yet troubled aura. Indeed. It makes you the perfect opponent. Come, and don't you dare hold anything back. All right, yeah. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's usually the rise, win and you'll rise in rank ones that often give you lore. It's just from what I've noticed. Sometimes no, maybe, but... Um, yeah, we'll keep trying with our current deck, I guess. At some point, I need to go back. But, uh, Itsu, how did you change your deck? Sounds good. No worries. No rush or anything. Um, let me grab. Oh, 
Oh, you swapped out one of the wolves. I got this. <laughs> Yay. All right, here we go. My name is Ladrell Balmont, and I am the creator of the game Queen's Blood. Which means that this nightmare is of my own making. I didn't know. How could I? <laughs> you hear her too. Time's running out. <laughs> She's calling me. Commanding me. She's made me her prisoner. Her cursed guard, my shackle. The end is nigh. Or perhaps this is only the beginning. The Shadow Blood Queen is. Yes, you have dreamt the dream of Ladrell Balmon too. What do you know about it? Mm, only rumors and hearsay that players of particular skill have experienced strange visions of late. Visions in which one is visited by the ghost of the game's creator, who speaks of portentous events. To add another wrinkle, some of the world's very best have recently met with unnaturally violent deaths. People are calling this the Curse of the Drell. Not even my third eye can discern the true cause, though it is clearly something sinister. If you wish to continue on the path of the card, then remain vigilant, or it may lead to your undoing. Now again, I haven't seen the ending to this quest. I purposely have not looked it up. Um, I love the fact that there does seem to be some lore around the cards and it's not just like a random little side thing you can do. And again, don't, don't say anything, but when I see purple in any capacity, but especially purple like wisp and smoke and static visuals, um, that kind of makes me think of a certain certain booby alien I booby alien lady but I, I don't know just just putting that out there throwing that into the, to the world um okay well that actually went really well <laughs> that doesn't uh that doesn't usually go that well but I think I'm maybe starting to get the hang of it and definitely uh going going second and playing reactively helps me a lot I think um I think that was Everything we got over here, we just need to head back over to Gungaga. And now we get to spend some time with my favorites. We get to see the Turks a little bit. I mean, not like actually, but you know, kind of. You'll see. <laughs> I also would like to admit it took me so much longer to find the first location for the proto relic in Gungaga than it should have. Like an embarrassingly long amount of time. <laughs> Get me, Good Gaga. Such an iconic line. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I had to have Mike. Like, so the first location is all the way down here. <clears throat> and you can see there's like this overhang of cliff here. So I'm running around on top trying to find it. Mike's like, are you sure it's not down below? And I'm like, no, there's no way. It's it's down below. <laughs> it is definitely down. Oh, there's. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, heck. If you guys see any treasure chests like this one, they might be up high as well. Let me know. Oh, you know what's funny? I've been playing a lot of Fallout 76 with Mike, so I see things like gas canisters, and I'm like, I could take that for, for scrap. I could craft stuff with that. I can't find their voice actor. He sounded so familiar, though. I... I don't think he sounds familiar to me, but I'd be curious to find out who he was. Next game, they need to do map layers. Absolutely. Yeah, the mini map helps a lot. It's better than just like the overhead like compass thing. But it's still kind of obnoxious. Deal with that. You won't regret this. Yeah. <laughs> Meet with any desk. <laughs> But yeah, um, Fallout 76 has actually been quite fun. I've been enjoying it. They added, like, new, uh, DLC recently. Which, funny story, by the way, I don't know too, too much about how, like, the map of Fallout 76 works. But you can build, like, a base camp for yourself. Thank you. Uh, you can build, like, a base camp for yourself. And then when you sign back on, if someone else has already made a base camp in that area on the new, like, server or map that you're on, um, you'll just be able to move yours somewhere else, right? Which is fine. Um, I found a nice place for mine. And then, <laughs> I think, like, two play sessions later, we sign on. The DLC for Fallout 76 went live. And it took out my camp. <laughs> It was right where I had put it. I don't know if it's always that location of the map is always the start of the DLC, but I thought it was kind of funny. And yet Mike was across the street and his camp was fine. So I felt, I felt a little, a little called out. Okay, and there's another one. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, I think Vault 63, like a, a vault door. It was in the middle of a roadway, and my, my camp was right next to said roadway. <laughs> so we moved somewhere else. It's closer to a store anyway, so. Okay. Let's go at least find the entrance. But yeah, it's it's this. Like I was up there and I'm like, Mike, I can't find it. It's literally it it's right here. <laughs> it's literally right here. I got so so ticked off at it. Um but yeah, really quickly before we keep going, I know it's a little early, but I need to go on a stretch break. I think I need some cold water and maybe like an Advil or something because I have such a weird pressure from my ears that's transferring into a headache. So um, hang tight and uh, enjoy the BRB videos and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. <laughs> 